With us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds, middleweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him the opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Vicious's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He scores with the jab. Hey, 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 Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. End of round one. Ortiz's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. Keep boxing smart in and outside the side. Here we go. Round two is underway. Back to me. A stinging blow me. by Thunder. Hey, Just let's go. Very nice defensive guard there. has got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Yeah. Lands that hook to the midsection. Way through this round here. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Vicious is proving to be elusive. Good defensive skill. Body shot, body shot. And he just holds on there. 
Keep it up! Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Breathe, all right? Just take a deep breath. I need to see the combinations from you. Now let's throw those combinations we talked about. This fight is real close, so let's see the one, twos, and threes. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Put some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen. You, gotta watch the water you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. shot to the head with that right hand so right from the start in this fight he's committed to the body shots well that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight no sense in wasting time get right to it ortiz's punch didn't come close reaching the halfway mark of this round just like that. just like that. well timed by ortiz he took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Vicious, his right hand scores well that time. Ten seconds to go in this round. And that's the end of round three. What you doing? Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that head moving. You gotta breathe. You got to breathe. All right? How you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight. Thunder's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard, the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Nice work with the overhand right. Well off the mark by Ortiz. Not focusing. You're not now focusing. hugging on the inside. Jump on him. Nice. Thunder's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Still not moving enough. Move, move. 90 jam, seconds jam. to go in round number four. Move, move! That's
that's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Wow! Thunders down, down on the canvas. How will he recover from this? to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's gotta survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You see. teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. <laughs> 10 seconds to go in the fourth. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So, put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Breathe. need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Pace yourself! Not much action as he just ties up. Halfway into round number five here. Back to the bus. On the mark with the hook after blocking that shot. <laughs> Ortiz is nailed by a hook. Keep pushing. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Solid left hand to the head. Ortiz is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. Move around the ring, you got that? Okay, now let's go. Move around the ring, you got that? Okay, now let's go. Ortiz's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round, coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Thunder's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached. They're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. And he's holding. <laughs> 
not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Halfway through round six. in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. You see him holding on. on. Ortiz is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Vicious is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. He is staggered and stumbling. Really fun looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're gonna see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really Beautiful. change gears That's at this point. Beautiful. You're gonna see more of the That's same. Amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice round, that was good. Keep it. Ortiz is off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. That's a good block go. by Ortiz. Thunder's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. At the halfway point of round seven. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, Looking good. Off to the side, a little jump swing on, and a miss going right upstairs. Now. Keep working, bud. And he ties up on the inside. Yeah, give him a word. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. A razor sharp hook to the head by Thunder. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Vicious is well off the mark that time. And we come to the end of the round. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice workout. Okay, now we work. Good job. Now we at work, baby. We need to start throwing punches in bunches. Punches in bunches, okay? Let's go to work now. Let's show them what we got. Seven entertaining rounds so far. Thunder's up on your scorecard, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, well, he moves his head. Defensively, there's a lot of work to be done because he moves his head, Joe, but he does it with his hands down. And every once in a while he gets caught, he gets caught clean. Ortiz is hurt from that. He is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. Flush right hand to the head. 
And he clinches yet again. Vicious is killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. Now he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. He's not going anywhere. Speed him in the punch. Thunder scoring with that right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Took a shot, now he gives a left. There you go, no, right now. More punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. Ooh. We count down the final moments of this round. Right, breathe, breathe, deep breath. Get some water. All right, you're good, okay? You're good out there. Now breathe, for me. breathe. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. Now tighten up your punches, all right? Let's keep working behind the jab, okay? Work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the head, all right? Body, head. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. The ninth round is here. Ortiz has got to be steady on his feet right here. Everybody's looking to see how he looks right now after being stunned in that last round. Up top with the right hand. Ortiz is in a cycle right now that's Let's not go. paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Keep doing what you're doing. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut. Baby. Come it's on. Okay, let's go. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Ortiz is able to avoid that punch. Ortiz has been hurt by that shot. Thunder's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Vicious's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Ortiz has got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Now, I need you to move this round, all right? Now, move. Now, he's coming in. Swing. Now, you think you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Vicious's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way 
doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Snaps that jab out. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Thunder's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Let it go! They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Watch the hook. Little head hunting with the left. He got hit, but he sends it right back. You are losing this fight. I need you to take some chances. Man. You got it. You got to take some chances with this guy. All right. All right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Listen. I want you to pick his jabs. When, when he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him. Thunder's enjoying a comfortable lead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number 11. Teddy, you've been in this position many times in your career. Yeah, what you want to do is you tell the guy, the obvious is, you know, don't make mistakes. But go out there, keep doing what you're doing. One of the mistakes could be stop doing what you're doing. Don't just stop offense because you're worried about defense. Keep throwing the punches, but make sure that you're alert and make sure that defensively you're on top of yourself. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. Double up on your punches. He missed with that headshot. Thunder's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that, yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. This has got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Oh, you're doing great. That's my man. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Listen, we can't let this go to the scorecards. You have to knock him out. It's the only way now. Now let your hands go. Come on, champ. You got to fight. You got to throw more. Come on, champ. You got to get into this thing.
potential for 12, and they're closing in on going the full distance. Final round. Keep it up. Keep it up. He just missed that shot up top. Ortiz is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. That's it. He's just committing like to the work Let's downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Thunder's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Oh, and there you go. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Ortiz is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Thunder's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Focus. Focus. A minute to go in the fight. Thunder's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And now you see a complete change as to what he's targeting here. He's clearly going after his opponent's body. Well, he's got his speech in front of him, and he's putting a little tax in the road. You know, throwing some nails down on that road. Go downstairs. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.